Well, a number of midterm elections still haven't been decided, and in Florida, voters are saying, here we go again. Florida Secretary of State today ordered machine recounts in two key races. Here's Kenneth Craig. On this fourth day after the midterm elections, Florida's U.S. Senate race and its governor's race are now the focus of a statewide recount. Of the state's 67 counties, Palm Beach and Broward counties were still counting votes Saturday, just ahead of the Secretary of State's order. USA! In the battle for the U.S. Senate, the tallies between Republican Governor Rick Scott and incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson are so narrow it could be within the margin requiring an additional manual recount. Eighteen years ago, the drama of the presidential race between George W. Bush and Al Gore boiled down to South Florida. On Friday, protesters stormed the supervisor of elections office in Broward County. House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi tells our Margaret Brennan there is no fraud, just an honest count of the votes. Everybody who has the, is eligible to vote uh, should be able to vote and have their vote counted as cast. That's what this is about. In the governor's race, Republican Ron DeSantis has a lead of less than half a percent over Democrat Andrew Gillum. With the election behind us, it's now time to come together as a state. DeSantis is pressing on and building his transition team. Gillum conceded Tuesday night, but the Tallahassee mayor could still be within the margin of a win, and the results are narrowing. Let me say clearly, uh, I am replacing uh, my words of concession with an uncompromised and unapologetic call that we count every single vote. While a machine recount is relatively straightforward, a manual recount is a tedious process. People checking the ballots essentially have to decide what the voters' intention was. The deadlines for the results of a machine recount is next Thursday to Marco. Yeah, talk about a nail biter. All right, right Kenneth sure Craig reporting. Kenneth, thank you. Well, tomorrow morning, Margaret Brennan returns to hosting Face the Nation. Her guests include House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and Senators Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham.